I'm Susie Miller, I'm the playwright of Prima Facey. When I first went to university I studied science, but I was always really interested in writing and stories and reading. And then I moved into law because I had a real social justice conscience and wanted to do some justice fighting. And while I was a lawyer, I went back to university and became a playwright as well. So I juggled both law and theatre writing for a long time. I practised as a corporate lawyer for a year and then quickly absconded to the Aboriginal Legal Service, which is apparently the only person in the history of that firm that ever did that at the time. Um, and then I worked as a criminal lawyer and a civil lawyer at the Aboriginal Legal Service for a year or so and then went to the Public Interest Advocacy Centre which does class actions for the public, in the public interest and then became a children's rights lawyer and I worked as a children's rights lawyer for many years and while I was a children's rights lawyer I doubled as a playwright. I went to NIDA while I was doing that practice and I also wrote a series of plays. One, the very first play I wrote was based on my experience of being a uh, lawyer for homeless young people in King's Cross and it was an e expression of what I found that was beautiful and community based in that in that job and that play that was my first play it went on at the Old Fitz and then it transferred to the Opera House so it was a magnificent first entree into playwriting and sealed it for me really that that was absolutely what I wanted to do and I think it was because I realized that I would told some of the stories from the practice of being a lawyer in King's Cross for years. And it was when they were actually on show that people walked out of the theatre and said, I now realise that these people could be my cousins, my sisters, my family, my friends. And there was an increase in empathy to those stories. And I thought, this is the way to change the world. Every playwright will tell you there's a few plays that write themselves. And Prima Facie was about a topic I'd thought about long and hard for so many years and it was sort of collecting in my mind for a long time and it came out really, it birthed itself in many ways and it was something that I felt so strongly about and I really wanted to use my position as both an ex-criminal lawyer and a playwright to find that fine line between justice and lack of justice, between victim and perpetrator, because of course I was a defence lawyer but I also acted for victims. And I always remember thinking that sexual assault is an area that I couldn't really practice in because I felt that there was something uneven about the process. And I needed to find a way to write about that that was true to the legal system, but true to the, a woman's experience of sexual assault as well in the court system.